to Donkey Kong Country with me, Matthew Caddis. Iggy Poogie. So, this is Bouncy Bonanza, the second cave level in the game. And this one features a lot of bouncing on these rubber tires. Of course, they are a huge feature of the first Donkey Kong Country game. And also the first Donkey Kong Land game as well. Uh, basically, you have to push them through the level while avoiding the various cremlings in the way. So, firstly, there are these creatures that are jumping back and forth. And, and, yeah, this is what I do not like about these guys. Seriously, they can easily kill you. And, is it me or did I, did it just say that I had one life there when I actually had 11? I don't know, but there you go, so... Now, um, yeah, as I say, the, um, the hit detection can be a bit off, um, especially if you're standing in the wrong area thinking you're safe, and then one of those creatures just jumps on Donkey Kong's head. Seriously, I don't know what that's about. I honestly don't know what that's about, and that zinger comes right in with his stinger there. Seriously, I do not like it. Well, that being said, I am going to continue and indeed hopefully get to the um, checkpoint here in the level. So, yeah. Uh, so, this will take up, I think, the rest of um, the uh, Monkey Mines area. So, yeah. And um, up to the boss, the second boss, uh, Nikki Senior. So, yes. And the, oh, boy. Um, actually, is it Nikki Senior? I'm not sure now. Actually, no. The first uh, boss was very naughty. Yes, apparently, um, rare wear life there. Pudding. Again, you um, probably see that as well in Donkey Kong 64. A game that I probably don't want to play ever. Well, maybe not ever again, but certainly not again after um, the whole debacle. Of me having to play both Jetpack and the original Donkey Kong twice. Seriously. Anyway, there's one of the um, things there. Um, yeah, I do not like these creatures at all. Um, they are in the second and third Donkey Kong Country games as well. The O is guarded by that zinger there. And then we have to push this uh, tire under here to get to the, um, the checkpoint barrel. And then... Well, I just m messed up there. However, if we go up here... Um, we can get some more, um, bananas, I guess. Um, so, yeah, but, oh boy, can we get any further up there? I don't know, but there you go. Um, another thing of note, we can get Wingy the Frog here as well. Oh boy, two zingers. Oh, I can easily get DK back there. And over here is where we can get Wingy the Frog. If we bounce on that, um... Tire there, we there we go. The Winky is in that cave there, and uh, then we can continue. Um, Winky is a plus here actually, uh, towards the end of the level because we'll get an area that's nothing but bouncing on those tires. Seriously, so uh, yeah, here it is. This is the point I was talking about. We have to jump on each of the tires to get to the other side, and it isn't easy even with um, Winky the Frog, because sometimes I mess up with my timing, and I pretty much died there. Seriously. Thank goodness I hit that barrel there, because um, otherwise I think I would have died, definitely. So now I want to actually try and push the tire onto the platform. There we go. And can we go through that? Yes, we can. And we will need to if we're going to get the N in the Kong letters. Oh boy. You're jumping back and forth. I'm surprised he, he faces through the walls, to be honest, that uh, critter. Seriously, he faces through the um, wall. How is that possible? I think, certainly seen from what little I've seen of the Donkey Kong cartoon, um, King K. Rule's minions are as stupid as Scratch and Grounder from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And anyway, that being said, let's go through here. And we have more of these, and uh, indeed, let's jump on their heads! Yeah, what can I say? Um, yeah. 
then jump on the uh, thing there. Yeah, these. Um, I also like the uh, croaking animation for Winky the Frog. Seriously, it's easily some of my favorite things I've one of my favorite things I've seen in the game. Yeah, if only it would make it. I don't know why they wouldn't use a sort of croaking nose. I can't do it. Uh, um, croaking noise for Winky the Frog, but never mind. Uh, yeah, I got nothing. You stop jumping about. Did K. Rule tell you to do that? Yeah, maybe he thinks you completely. Well, in the cartoon, it certainly is the case. Yes, uh, the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Oh boy. That was a whole different thing. Seriously, the animation is. Well, for a 90s cartoon, okay, I guess. Especially one done in CGI. I mean, look, look at something like Reboot or something. Back in the day, I thought it was revolutionary. Now it looks like, well, still quite revolutionary for the 90s, but yeah. Um, the Donkey Kong Country cartoon looks like it was done, um, well, um, on a far inferior PC. Uh, yeah. Uh. And yes, there was a cartoon for Donkey Kong Country. It was that big. And yes, it was. It even had songs in it. The most infamous one being um, "Our Love Is Like a Golden Banana," or the uh, uh, which contains the line, uh, "I'd like to shower you with coconut cream pies." Seriously, that is actually a line in the song. It's become an internet meme of all things. Uh, that being said. Uh, apparently Donkey Kong, if you leave him too long, he starts, uh, <laughs> starts hitting his, um, uh, thing. I don't know who does the, um, um, the voices for the Kongs in this game, seriously. Because, I mean, I think it's Chris Sutherland, but I could be wrong there. Um, I know he does later do Diddy's voice in, um, um, dare I say... Um, Donkey Kong 64, but I'm not sure about here. Anyway, in this bonus room, oh, we have to bounce on the uh, things to get the, uh, um, the bananas, so yeah, not too hard. And then we can go on to the next level, Stop and Go Station. Oh boy, this one's a pain, because of, of the fact that the enemies, most of the enemies, anyway, in this stage, I'm nigh on invincible, aside from these small um, Kremlings known as clap traps. They can be defeated by jumping on their heads. But the rather muddy looking Kremlings that are running back and forth? Nope, you can't, you can't defeat them. So the only way to do, to actually, um, well, get past them is to actually go to the go barrels and pretty much turn them to stop. So yeah, kind of unique idea for a level, for sure, but um, it does mean a lot of uh, very precarious platforming, especially up here, because I foolishly let it uh, dawdle too long there, and um, made it go to go. Yes, um, that is going to um, uh, be annoying. And, let's see, yeah, for the most cases, you do have to hit every single one of these barrels in order to stop the enemies, otherwise, your ass is grass, seriously, especially on those small platforms, like the one I just jumped off of there, so yeah, so I'm going to try and go back so I can actually um, get past that, and then that one suspended over the gap, yeah, I do want to move quickly. Because that was moving up and down, I don't have the luxury of waiting, etc, etc. That all I have never been able to get, seriously. Unlike in Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3, uh, you can't pick up DK. Well, DK is quite heavy anyway, but um, it, even Dixie could pick up um, Kiddie Kong in Donkey Kong Country 3 and um, fling them towards something, such as a, one of the Kong letters. 
Uh, but uh, you can't do that in the first Donkey Kong Country game. So I don't know how to get that um, all there. Seriously. That is very confusing for me. I know, uh, I know Diddy cannot fling his tail like a gang in Donkey Kong 64. Um, so yeah. There is also a small period, I guess, with the... Um, with those annoying Kremlings that are moving back and forth, um, and that is um, uh, when they start to wake up from their slumber, um, you can actually um, um, get past them, as you saw when I did it there. Um, I don't really like doing that in case um, I end up losing either DK or DD uh, or dying, because they... A pretty much, um, yeah. So there, I just narrowly managed to get across the gap because of the fact that the um, Kremlin just woke up there. Okay, that one's dancing like it's on ice physics or something. Seriously. Okay, get off there! Seriously, you don't want to die! And here, we have to go through a bunch of these um, things. Bounce on the uh, thingy there, and... Oh boy, yeah. I can easily lose either. Well, I did. I just lost Diddy there. That's not fun. And stop and go station is mostly done. I I didn't get all the Kong letters, but yeah. If you're playing the original version of um, uh, Donkey Kong Country, the only way to save is at Candy's um, save points. So yeah. Thankfully, the um, both the Wii U and Switch versions, which I'm playing the Wii U version, does allow you to save. As for Funky's Flights, well, that allows you to go back to previous levels. It's pretty good for getting life farming, really. Seriously. Anyway, this is our uh, first temple level, Millstone Mayhem. And this one um, has us dealing with um, various Kremlings and also Naughties inside. Um, Hamster wheels? Yes, apparently, yes, that is a thing. That is most definitely a thing, and I don't know where the key is. Nor do I care, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah. That um, cannon will easily take us to another bonus stage. So, yeah, so I don't care if I lose DK, I'm going for the bonus stage. So, here we have to get um, a, all of the letters here. So, yeah, if we get one of the um, Kremlings. Then no. And we've got our third on guard token. So we can go to our first on guard stage in which we have to collect all of the miniature on guard tokens throughout the level. It is actually quite fun. And we finally get to hear the full version of the bonus stage theme because we don't hear it in full in um, other areas. And yes, it is one of my favourite tracks in the game. And it's also used in. Um, uh, both Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Land, I guess. Uh, but, um, that being said, getting around here can be a bit of a chore with the uh, on guard. Seriously. But, um, it is what it is, I guess. Can I say? Nah. But, I didn't like on guard anyway. He does not have the charge move until uh, the next game, though, so, yeah, that does make it a bit harder for me, but only in that case. So, yes, that is the first on guard stage. That isn't the only animal friend we will be using here in the uh, Donkey Kong Country, or at least with the bonus stage, because we will be encountering, I think, another one of our animal buddies in the next um, level. Not the next level, the next world, even. These rather strong-looking Kremlings, they cannot be defeated by Diddy. He is too small, and he, they will just laugh at him. They will just go, or something like that. And um, he's, and so instead, um, what we can, can do to defeat them um, is that we can use a TNT barrel to blow them up. So, yeah. I don't know if you can throw it on... Oh, you cannot, apparently. You can't blow up the noughties. If only... Uh, but no, you can't blow them up, those stupid beavers. Oh well. 
game. So here we have, oh boy, a rather precarious jump. So let's wait until the naughty gets back down, and then we can take this area and get Winky the Frog. Yep, and then have him bounce over here to get the end. Uh, I don't know if you can get that by doing a normal jump or not, but I did it with Winky. So yeah, and oh boy, I don't want to lose Winky that easily. So jump over him, yeah. And that's our first appearance of a Neki in the game. They like to, well, that version of the Neki at least likes to um, fling nuts at you. Seriously. Weird for an enemy based off of a vulture, a bloody scavenger of all things in the real world, but then again, um, um, never mind. Here is another bounce, so it's a thing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how I'll get those, uh, thing, those uh, bananas there, so never mind. Anyway, it's time to face the boss here, um, which is. Um, Oh, Cranky Kong, no. It is Nicky Senior. Oh, actually, I think it's just... Actually, I think it's just Nicky. Or Sir Nicky? I don't know. Anyway, one of the Nickies. So, yes, Nicky's Nuts. And this one can be quite tough as well because of how Nicky Senior behaves. Because what he does, um, he will um, uh, move his head in and try and shoot nuts at you. Uh, for the most part, you can get him while his head is quite high. Um, uh, just be careful of where he is. You can see there that I timed that badly and pretty much died against him. So, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, jumping on him is a chore sometimes. Especially when you hit, like, his um, bill. Seriously, if you hit his bill, he... Um, really um, is annoying there because uh, what you're supposed to do is hit the back of his head, I guess. Yeah, his bill is pretty much invincible. Seriously. I didn't bounce high enough there. Sometimes you can't, really. Anyway, uh, Neki is done. So on the next episode, we are heading into the forest. So I will see you then. Goodbye!